the free. So, so we're here at the Linaro Connect, and uh, this is the coolest device in the world right now. Do you agree? Yeah, it's fine. It's the it's the best arm device you, which you can buy for this price. That's my opinion. So right here you had some some kind of session uh, talking about uh, what were you talking about? Basically, what we are talking about. What is broken? Running, why? Running Linux, and how to unbreak it? General Linux. Yeah. Typical Linux distributions like Debian, Ubuntu, and OpenSUSE. So, so who are you? I'm Eric Voipio. I'm a Linaro developer. Linaro, Linaro and uh, you? Uh, Andrew Waffer, work at Arm. Arm, and uh, who are you? Olaf Johansson. I work on Chrome OS at Google. Google, and you? I'm Sunny Rao. I also work on Chrome OS. At Google? At Google. Cool. And you? And I am Martin Yushkevich. I work at Linaro. Cool. So uh, I've, I've seen your, your Google Plus stream and you've yes. been posting. There's also a community about the uh, hacking the Google Chromebook. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So um, we, uh, we tried to make a, a, an open device. Uh, we want people to be able to play with the hardware, own their own hardware. We also want it to be very secure by default so people that don't want to Tinker with it can essentially um, trust the security of the system, but we um, we want to enable them so people that want to replace software, run whatever they want to on there, they can do that. And um, as part of that, I essentially just made a seed post on, hey, this is how you get going. And other people like Marcin and, and others have been uh, continuing that and actually wrapping up and making a proper packaging of it. So what, what can you actually run? What actually works on a I have Ubuntu 13.04 running. Oh, here is Ubuntu? Micro. Yes, I run Ubuntu running 13.04 current development version. It, wor it works fine. Everything works? Everything which I need to use this machine as my as laptop works. Wi-Fi works, screen works, keyboard works. US I can get 76 megabytes per second from USB 3, so it's fine. So if everything works, so what were you talking about in the session? Uh, there are a few things which uh, we didn't talk yet from uh, hardware. There is video, audio video acceleration. Under Chrome OS, I was able to play full HD YouTube videos. Under Ubuntu, it's impossible. CPU is too slow for itself. Mm, few other things. Is it uh, binary blob stuff? Is that what it is? or? <sighs> Hard to tell, is it binary blobs or...? The graphics would be a binary blob requirement, so... Uh, yeah, generally, most things work out of the box on general desktop Linux, whether it be Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, Debian, uh, Fedora. Um, but there are some of the uh, proprietary aspects of things like graphics um, needs the, the blob to, to work properly. Getting that integrated is a, a little bit cumbersome at times. Um, there are some improvements that could be made with, for instance, the touchpad driver. Um, that's one of the things that we were talking about, ways of being able to improve what's available out there and, and what's all public. Um, so th there are, most things works, but as with most other things, there's always room for improvement. So that's what we're trying to do, improve the, the general Linux experience on, on the Chromebook. How does the Mali T604, how is that used in a Chrome OS, for example? Is it being used? Yes, uh, Chrome OS has a compositing, um, essentially, window manager. So we use the, uh, the 3D pieces quite a bit. Um, and it's used throughout the stack, of course, WebGL and all that as well. Um, so uh, like, uh, could it be used even more? Or how, how, how could the, like, this huge GPU, this new GPU compute and all that. Uh -huh. um, I can't really comment about plans there. I don't think 604 allow. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have OpenGL that is late enough to do OpenCL. Open no, it does. It does. It does. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I don't work. The verses we have, the, I, the, the 604, I'm not it sure. It supports so. OpenCL, but I think Chrome OS, under Chrome OS, oh. there's no yeah. particular way of using it right now. So. Potentially in the future, if there's additions to Chrome that let us use it, then it could be used. What kind of uh, optimizations could be made to... Is it possible to optimize and prolong the battery life? 
Is that, um, does yes, that make sense? there's always yeah, there's yeah. always ways to optimize. Definitely, right? yeah. and you you do as much as possible before you ship, uh, and you do as much as possible before you ship the product. Um, the the really sweet thing with Chrome OS is that we keep shipping software updates to your platform. So every six weeks we have a new release. Sometimes there's twelve weeks, but usually every six weeks we have a new release, and we ship new features. We optimize over time, and in general we've been able to speed up and improve battery life over time as we um, even on ship products. So. Um, it's, I, I think the marketing guys call it the always new device, right? Um, so there's, there's stuff going on there. So it's huge. It's awesome. I mean, this is the first unpowered uh, productivity machine kind of like, uh, that's not just like a smartphone uh, or just a tablet or, mm -hmm. uh, it, was it a huge work to make uh, this, this happen? It was a lot of work. It was, it was, it was yeah. a very intense project. <laughs> yeah. Um, and of course, we work closely with with Samsung and uh, some engineers yes. from Minara here as well to uh, get it out the door. Uh, but it was a lot of fun, and it's it's fun to see it do this well in the market. Is it possible to say that Cortex A9 was not fast enough? Cortex yet? A9 so you had to wait. Cortex for... A15 is definitely the first platform that's really really well performing from ARM. Um, A9 has a couple of of downsides on the kind of workload Chrome S that yeah. it wasn't really the perfect match. And the Exynos chip also has very good memory bandwidth, which is something we need, especially when we're using uh, all the fancy compositing and all that kind of stuff. So the earlier chips uh, didn't have quite as much, and that's something we definitely looked at very closely. Cool. Does it make you happy that uh, this is the most sell device on the, the biggest? Yeah, it was great. I saw website in the world. I saw a random a random guy with his wife who wasn't coming here using one in in the airport in San Francisco, and I was very happy about that. That's awesome. What would you like to see uh, developed here? What What would you like to see happen? Well. Since it's on Cortex A15, which has many new features such like virtualization, one of the things I would like to try soon would be uh, the KVM to have a virtualized environment on an ARM laptop. Cool. And uh, you, do you have some uh, feature requests? Uh, you know, I want to check this virtualization as well, KVM or Zen, because there will be Z there is Zen uh, backport for current uh, stuff. And I also want to get OpenGLS working again on under on Ubuntu on it. Cool. And uh, this is Linaro Connect, the first time that everybody is nearly using uh, Ampar laptops. Yeah. And the next Linaro Connect, for sure, everybody is going to be using only that? Or what uh, do you think? No, I think that uh, you will, we will not get to the point when everyone will use uh, ARM-based uh, laptop. But when you ro walk around this Connect, it is it's amazing how many people are using Chromebooks. Every screen is using a Chromebook, yeah, right? Screens, but screens at the Connex were always uh, powered by ARM boards. Like but Panda board or Panda something. board, Snowball, Origin, or even Freescale, uh, Quick Start at the previous Connects. But I think that using Chromebook is easier because you don't have all those cables and you just put put Chromebook for displaying one page. It will survive se se uh, something like seven hours. So how long? How far do you think we are from a time when uh, uh, dog fooding, where the ARM community can basically use ARM powered laptops, just everybody? I a fifteen is a why is nice way for it. But who knows? I wonder what Big Little will change it, because we will, we can get, we probably will get more battery life than we have from A15, because A7 chips are le more less memory hungry, energy hungry. So, year from now, I think. Is it possible to run any of these software on lower low hardware, A9s, and all that, or? What kind of what? software? What? General uh, Linux software. That's from, uh, yeah, this yeah. Chrome OS yeah. on ARM on, a, on a other devices, on cheaper, maybe older yeah. devices. Yeah, so, um, I mean, people who look at our uh, Git history will notice that we've done some work on other platforms in the past. Um, I think there's some hobbyist efforts to get it going on Pandaboard. Um, and it, it'll run. It, it, 
It works. Um, if if you know people invest the time, especially graphics drivers, integration is can be awkward. Yeah. Um, but you know it won't be as snappy. Um, I think people got it booting even on the the Raspberry Pi, but they didn't have the necessary graphics or memory really yeah. to use memory. it properly. I think memory is probably the biggest issue on that platform. Chromebook gives you two gigs of memory, and it's. It's really a huge change, because nice. I, I had the other ARM-based laptop, but that one was Cortex-A8 and just half gig of memory, so it wasn't, it wasn't possible for me to use it as daily laptop, which for Chromebook, I decided that for this connect I will go fully armed, so no x86 with me this time. And so far we have third day of connect and so far it's, it's enough. Cool. So thanks a lot guys for making the coolest device in the world.